sake of science. I'm going to grab this water bottle here, contort it, create some air pressure. So we have two objects, me, the water bottle, and the other object is going to be the cap. Let's see what happens when I become in cannon mode. You saw what just happened there. The cat flew an extremely high speed forward. Why didn't I fly back with an equal speed backwards? That's my question to you. Why not indeed? If for every action there is always an opposed equal reaction, then why didn't Brother Matt go flying backwards in the demonstration that you just witnessed? Well, the answer has to do with mass. Let's talk about a cannon. When a cannon fires, it exerts a force on the cannon. And the cannonball exerts a force right back on the cannon. Which force is greater? Well, if you said that the two forces are equal, as they're represented pictorially here, it's the same size, then you're right. But here's the thing. The mass of the cannonball is small compared to the mass of the cannon. So it experiences, the cannonball experiences a much greater acceleration uh, than the cannon does. If you remember Newton's second law, the smaller the mass is, the greater, is, uh, the, greater the acceleration given a force. On the other hand, uh, the cannon has a much greater mass than the cannonball. So given the same force, it experiences a much smaller acceleration. Remember, acceleration is any change in motion. So the cannon still actually does uh, move a little. It just doesn't move as much as the cannonball because of the cannon's much greater mass. I think you're ready now for a couple of check questions. When a cannon is fired, the accelerations of the cannon and cannonball are different because the forces don't occur at the same time. The forces, although theoretically the same, in practice are not. The masses are different, or the ratios of force to mass are the same. Pause the video now to find your answer. If you answered C, you are correct. Take a look again at the uh, video diagram here. You see that the cannon does move, it just doesn't move quite as much as the cannonball does. That's because its mass is much greater than the mass of the cannonball. That's called recoil, by the way. Now take this example. Consider a high-speed bus colliding head-on with an innocent bug. The force of impact splatters the unfortunate bug over the windshield. Which is greater, the force on the bug or the force on the bus? Bug, bus, both are the same, cannot say. Pause the video and determine your answer. You're right, they're both the same. However, the forces are equal in magnitude, but the effects are very different. Now why is that? I'm going to leave that as a question for you to figure out on your own. Poor bug. All right. Two people of equal mass on slippery ice push off from each other. Say Brother Matt pushes off on Brother Matt on some slippery ice. Will both move at the same speed in opposite directions? Yes. Yes, but only if both push equally. No. No unless acceleration occurs. Pause the video now to determine your answer. The answer is yes. Actually, however they push, the result is going to be that you have equal magnitude forces on equal masses. It's going to produce equal acceleration, and therefore you have equal changes in speed. No matter how you push, the forces are involved in a reaction-action pair and you get equal and opposite forces. So what was the answer to Brother Matt's challenge? The reason he doesn't go flying backwards at the same speed that the cap goes flying forwards is because Brother Matt's mass is so much greater than that of the cap. Even though the cap exerts exactly the same force backwards on Brother Matt, that Brother Matt exerted forwards on the cap.